Some breaking inputs. Isro has put out a new uh, update about the Chandrayaan-3 mission and this is in fact about the movement of rover on the lunar surface. Now, Isro informs that the rover was rotated in search of a safe route and while the rotation was taking place, the camera on the lander took a video and on your screens right now is that rotation which was captured by a lander imager camera. Uh, Twitter, uh, Isro has put out a tweet and I quote, the rover was rotated in search of a safe route. The rotation was captured by a lander imager camera. It feels as though a child is playfully frolicking in the yards of Chanda Mama while the mother watches affectionately, isn't it? So that is a video put out by um, ISRO. It was taken by lander imager camera while the rover was rotating on the lunar surface. And Deepak is getting us more details. Another interesting update by ISRO, a video of the rover on the lunar surface. Absolutely, Swati, and we've seen multiple videos and images that have been coming back and forth. The lander capturing, uh, you know, the uh, rover, and uh, yesterday, of course, we had uh, first uh, we pictures and the videos of the rover, in fact, capturing the lander as well, and uh, probably uh, they did mention that this is the uh, site of the entire mission where we could see the Shiv Shakti point, and now uh, we've seen in the past as well how the rover, and it's proved its capabilities in terms of maneuverability, its uh, technical prowess, because if uh, the rover has to complete one lunar day it has to avoid craters or any sort of uh, obstacles where it could get stuck and that would uh, inhibit further experiments that could be con uh, conducted so to avoid uh, you know these craters rocks whatever uh, boulders whatever is it's in its path it has to ensure maneuverability and uh, this particular video shows that prowess uh, that isro has and this particular rover pragyan 2 has Okay. Now, as far as these updates are concerned, Deepak, we've seen, uh, you know, the ISRO share minute-by-minute minute details and a lot of pictures as well, interestingly, that have been captured uh, and have been released by ISRO. As we speak, we've seen that journey uh, being shared by ISRO the last few days. Apart from these visuals, uh, the scientific exploration that's also underway on a day-to-day -day basis, if you could quickly guess, get us an update on that. Yes, there are multiple payloads, of course, on the uh, lander and the rover, which are conducting, uh, you know, uh, uh, experiments. They've, of course, right now figured out that there is sulfur, and more importantly, multiple ways uh, they have managed to do so. They're uh, now finding out from where the sulfur is coming from, whether it is any sort of volcanic activity, whether it is any sort of uh, uh, meteorological activity. So all of these details, of course, uh, uh, you know, they will have to uh, really process the data that has been coming in uh, from uh, the payloads. Uh, it could uh, take a few days, but but as, as and when information is trickling in, uh, ISRO is able to put out these details so, you know, for the entire country to learn about. And that's interesting here how we are looking at the movement of uh, the rover on a daily basis. Uh, videos are being put out, pictures are being put out. Uh, and more importantly, the data that is uh, collected at this point in time is going to be invaluable uh, to ensure that uh, other uh, you know, missions that ISRO carries out, this sort of information will definitely come in handy. And the experience as well is something that uh, cannot even be, uh, you know, uh, spoken about because it's absolutely